Hello everyone, today I want to show you um, how to use this really, really useful option with kubectl called dry run. So this is where you can test your YAML files without actually impacting anything in the cluster. You can see uh, what it would do when whether or not the, the YAML surf, surf file is okay. And also, you can there's an option you can add to that to generate the YAML file back to you. Uh, which is useful if we actually have a pod running already, but that's we're getting. I'm getting ahead of myself. So I am connected to um, first of all, alias k equals kubectl. Connected to a cluster with five nodes. So let's. I have a file here. It's the simplest possible pod you can run for this pod YAML. I can show you the file. All it does is creates a pod and then runs the command hello world and exits. Uh, if I ran this like so, what would happen is it would actually create the pod. But what if I didn't want to do that? What if I just wanted to see what it would do and not affect anything, not create anything new? So I can then say dash dash dry dash run. It tells me that it was created, but also dry run, so it wasn't really created. I can show you that if I do get okay, get pod. Actually, the pod wasn't created because it was a dry run. The other really, really useful thing we can do with this is if I add minus O YAML, I get the YAML right back. It adds the metadata, but that's irre irrelevant. So it gives you the YAML file back. That comes in, that becomes very useful later on during your certification test because you can generate yaml file on the fly based on what you already have let's say that you have a pod that is already running you just want to modify that pods yaml uh, to create something that you need to create you can generate the yaml and do a dry run using the dry run method and then use that yaml to create what you need to create um, so if i just to complete the demo if i didn't do dry run you will see that the pod does get created. And k okay, get pod. It, it is creating, taking taking some time, I guess. But anyway, it will get, it will get it's running now. I think it should die actually because uh, nothing is running on that box that should keep it running. Oh, there's an error. Anyway, it got, it got created, so there was some error, but you get the idea. Using dry run, you can not create something and test your ML and test what it, it will actually do. What if you had uh, a big uh, YAML with multiple things, then you can see what else you would create, kind of like Terraform plan. Anyway, I hope this was useful to you. It, if it was, please like and subscribe. That helps me, out, helps me a lot. I will see you next time.